drop your hips down. So your left leg is in Virasana. Your right leg is straight. Inhale, hands up. So you are in a semi Dandasana. And do Padanguli Naman. Point and flex your toes. Shetu Naman. Point and flex your foot. Shetu Chakra. Ankle rotation. Lock your elbows well. Reverse the ankle rotation. And Janu Naman. Bend the knee. Straighten. Bend the knee. Straighten. Bend the knee. Straighten. Now go down in Kriya Mukhi Paschimuttanasa. Go down. Hold your toes, drop your head. Further down. In this, close your eyes. Keep your drishti at the pelvic platform in your Muladhar Chakra. And on inhalations, push your Muladhar Chakra down on your mat. On exhalation, pull it into a bandha. A mula bandha. Go further down. Now hook the right toe, wrap your hand around and twist. Go down as much as you can. Get a well sculpted body, get a beautiful stretch. Reverse arthritis, rheumatism, osteopin, osteoporosis. Bring suppleness in the spine. And see why we need a teacher. The moment the teacher talks about benefits, the students perform better. As I said in the pranayam class this morning. Every time you do any posture or pranayam or mudra or bandha or dhyana. First recap the benefits that that particular asana or pranayam or mudra or bandha or dhyana will give you. And then get into it. So that you can see yourself healing with it. Return and change sides. Straighten the left leg. Bring the right leg into Virasana. Lift the hands up. To do your Pavana Muktasana one series. Padanguli Naman. See how you are combining a Virasana. Ardha Virasana. With the Dandasan, that is seated staff pose, along with the hero's pose. Usme maine dala Pavan Muktasan series 1. So we are also target, targeting arthritis, rheumatism, suppleness, oxygenating, bringing about lubrication in the joints. Shetu Naman. Shetu Chakra, ankle rotation. Reverse it. Janu Discontinue the practice to go down into other. Paschim Uttanasana, so it's like an Ardha Bhagda. No. No, sorry. Triyam Mukhi. Triyam Mukhi Paschim Uttanasana. Three arms and the Mukh together. Hands 
feet, knee, along with the mook. Now start that pelvic platform down and out with inhalations and in with exhalations with your drishti at the Muladhar Chakra. If you don't know what is Muladhar Chakra, it's perfectly okay for now. Just keep awareness on the perineum. If you don't know what is perineum, the area between the anus and the pelvis. Keep your closed eye while drishti, mind's eye there. Now hook the left toe with the right hand, wrap your left hand around, twist as much as you can as you go further down and corner your eyeballs to look up at the ceiling. Benefits of Virasan, benefits of Triyamukhi Paschimuttanasan, benefits of Parivritta Triyamukhi Paschimuttanasan, Benefits of Griva Sanchalan, that is neck and head exercises. And benefits of eye exercise. Eyes are open, we are cornering our eyeballs. As we do the same breath, so benefits of Mola Bandha and benefits of pushing the pelvic platform out. So Pranayamic Mudra, Asan, Pranayam and Bandha. लगता है जैसे एक पोस्चर होल्ड कर लिया है गुड वन मिनट तक लेकिन बेनिफिट्स रीकैप करें एंड वी रिटर्न टू स्ट्रेटन बोथ द लेग्स फ्लैट द नीज To do a Marichi Asan for our abs. Here we pick up speed now. So this is how it goes. One and a one. Two and a two. Make sure you twist well. Make sure the neck and the head turn. Make sure you corner your eyeballs. Vertigo conditions. Keep your eyes closed. Every time you move away from the center, exhale. Every time you move towards the center, inhale. Discontinue the practice. And hold your right toe with your right hand. Soften the knee, lift the leg and say a no. Get a good stretch. Return the other leg now. Say a no. Don't use back support. Don't put your palm behind. Return and go and hook both the toes. If you're finding it too easy and you're not getting a really big, big stretch, then cross over at the wrist. Hook the toes, drop your head. Get back to those big breaths again, pushing your pelvis down and out and bringing it in in Mula Bandha. The hooking of the toes gives a beautiful acupressure.
to reverse neck pain, cervical spondylitis, etc. And then immediately come back, unhook the toes into a danda. Once in a danda, let us do six, seven rounds of ujjayi. Inhale, rub inhaled air with full friction in the throat. Exhale. Now six more. In Dandasan, the seated staff pose. Now tilt backwards, three rounds of Nauka Sanchala. And a one, and a two, and a three. And anti, so reverse that. And a one, and a two, tilt backwards, and a three. Discontinue Nauka Sanchala. For a Bhu Namanasana now. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, twist to the right. Go down, touch the floor. Return, simple and uncomplicated Bhu Namanasana. Return, one more set. Discontinue the practice. Bend the right knee now. Place the right palm behind the left hip. Inhaling with the left arm up. And then twist as you get your elbow behind the knee. Turn well. Now do seven Janu Naman with the other leg. One, the left leg. Two, don't rub the heel on the mat. Three. Yes, it's a little trying. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Return. And place the foot behind the left thigh now. Again, twist. Here. Just stay in this posture for seven breaths. Each of us has a different pace and speed, so we won't count for all of us together. As we return, we go down on our forearm and stretch once. Big stretch. And we come back. The other side now. The simple Janu Namanwala. Ardha Matsyendra Asana. And I'm counting. Two. Janu Naman with the right leg. Four. Six, seven, foot behind the thigh, twist more. Seven breaths here. Corner your eyeballs, you'll get some good eye exercises too. Let your chin chase your shoulder blade. Three more breaths, in case you lost count. Discontinue the practice and return after a good stretch. Stretch.
return and now inhaling lift the hands up go down and place your palms on your feet soften the knee and then lock them this time lift your heads up do the same breath you feel amazingly rejuvenated Inhale, push your abdomen out and pelvis down. Exhale, bring it back to normal. Return, inhaling. Exhale, bring your hands down on the sides of the waist. Bend your knees. Keep feet slightly less than hip width apart. And go up in Khandar Asana. Stay. Further up. Make the sides of the hips a little taut. When you return, don't touch your hips to the mat till your knees have locked. And then come back. As soon as you are back, spread the legs as apart as possible. Bring the right palm on the left knee now and again go down in a Triya curve. Prasarita Padasana. We did something similar when we started class today. Stretch well, twist well. Don't lose the grip from your knee with your other palm. Go into an <clears throat> go further. Twist well. Return, change. Further. <clears throat> Very good. Return, come back. We are going to do a lovely twist now. Very easy, lovely twist. Okay. We place our right foot on our left shin and we go down on the left and we bounce. Just pulse the knee up and down. Return. Place the same foot arch on the knee and again do the same thing. Besides getting a lovely twist on the waist, you see that lovely stretch happening in the intercostal muscles. The lower part. Change size. Make sure the upper body is twisted to the opposite direction. So currently on the left. Since the left knee is bent. Bounce a bit. Return. Put on knee. Twist. Return. Come back. And bend both the knees together now. I'm going to do it diagonally so you all can know what's happening. Come into a Pavana Muktasana and drop the knees from side to side. Making sure the upper body moves in the opposite direction. As if you're squeezing water off a washed cloth. Opposite and lower in complete opposite directions with the inner thighs glued to each other.
We're going to come out of this posture and do Shetu Asan, which is a stretch on the ankles. But just now we are working on a well sculpted body at the waist and suppleness in the spine. Last set and center as we sit again. Feeling pretty good out there now. We rest our palms behind on our mats. Fingers can be pointed towards or away. Legs together. Inhaling, we lift our hips high up and simultaneously press our feet down. Dropping the head back. And we return. We repeat this one more time. Shetu Asana. And we return. As soon as we return, we do another lovely twist. As we bend our knees, we twist completely with our elbow behind the knee in a namaste. We return, inhaling, to change sides. We return. We rest down for just like a quarter of a minute or half a minute. I will then come into a Shashank Asan. Shashank means rabbit, the rabbit pose as we go to the back of our mat. Sitting in the Adventine pose, Vajrasan, we go down. Resting our forehead on the mat with long arms. This is Shashankasana. And in literal slow motion, we rub our hairline center on the mat. Going forward, elbows in. Abdomen down. Without flopping it. And inhaling, we come up in the cobra. Turn the toes in. Come into plank. Look further up. And with knees down, return. Two more sets. Rubbing. Surrendering, there goes our ego, and up. Turn the toes in. Santulan Asan is what it is called, the plank. Although eyes may be open, awareness and mind's eye on the abs. And return. Down. Third round. Rub and up. The cobra, what they call Bhujangasana. Toes in, flat. Knees down and we come back to sit in Virasana. So we're going to separate our heels and get that area which we were talking about, the full pelvic 
anus, perineum, pelvis, urethra area, down on the mat. This is how Virasan looks from the front. My heels are apart and my hips are on my mat. Now, those who have sciatica will not stretch that side, but we'll do the other side double, okay? Inhaling, we lift the hands up to go down in a Triyaka Virasana. So if I've gone down to my left, I have to make sure that I don't suffer from sciatica on my right side. Return, inhaling, go down to the right. Remember, we are in Virasana. Return, inhaling, exhale, bring the hands down and extend the right leg out. Today's class is a lot about stretches too. When the right leg is extended out and the left leg is in Virasana, with a knee bend, we go into a stretch literally between our 90 degrees and our 45 degrees. Okay, so we go in between with our palms crawling as away as possible. A dropped head. Now try to drop your elbows and simultaneously lift the head. So that your forearms touch your mat. And do that same pelvic breathing. Inhale. Inflate the abdomen like a balloon. Push your pelvis down on your mat. Exhale. Abdomen normalizes, pelvis normalizes. And then return to change. Virasan first. Then extend the leg out slowly. Careful of that knee. That janu. And then go walking with your palms away. Drop the head, get the full forearms down and lift the head. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You do your mula bandha and abdominal breathing as you stretch like a couch tap puppy. Asan, pranayam, mudra, bandha, you're doing all four. Asan, Pranayam, Mudra, Band. And return. Return and straighten both the legs. Go down on your forearms. Once again. You go into an Ardha Nokasana. Take one hand off and let that hand go towards the leg. Slowly come back, other hand off towards the leg. Come back, Sukhasan up in the air and return. Return to go into a Sukhasan, same Sukhasan in front of your mat for a lovely counter pose to what we just did. We just did an Ardha Nokasan and we are now going to do its counter pose which is called Raj Kapotasan. Extend any one leg back as you sit in Sukhasan. The seated happy pose. And bend the extended legs knee behind you. As you hold the ankle. Pull the heel away, look up.
and do the same breathing. Asan pranayam mudra bandha wala. Abdominal breath, pelvic pushes, and mula bandhas. Discontinue, come back, change legs, there itself. Make sure the knee doesn't go and point in front. The Sukhasan knee. Bend the knee, pull the ankle, look up. Make sure you're doing asan because it's Rajkapot, the peacock. Pranayam because you're inhaling and exhaling in abdominal breaths. Mudra because you are down there at the pelvic platform pushing the pelvis out. Bandha as you come into Mula Band pulling the pelvis in. Asan, Pranayam, Mudra, Band. Return and come back. Come into Padmasana after coming back only for those who can comfortably sit in Padmasana. Others can sit in Sukhasana. Those who have knee problems can also have their legs straight. Those who have only one knee problem can keep the problematic knees, legs straight and the other leg in Padmasana. We now interlock our fingers behind, lock our elbows high up arms and we go down, exhaling in a bhastrika, come up, inhaling in a bhastrika, other knee, go down, exhale bhastrika, inhale bhastrika. Make sure you become the asana. Make sure you become the pranayam. This is also a combination of asan, pranayam, mudra, bandha. Asan because you are in padmasan. Pranayam because you are doing bhastrika. Mudra because you have the interlocked fingers. Bandha because you are going into a jalandar bandha, a chin lock. Do it again and please do it mindfully. Padmasan. Interlock fingers. High arms. Last two sets. Last one. Discontinue the practice. 